We're supposed to be in Sibuyan right now, but we're still in Romblon. As a matter of fact, we're just right outside the hotel we stayed at. So, what happened? Well, turns out that uh, when we woke up, and I was very early by the way, uh, the boat had left, or the ferry had left already one hour prior, much earlier than anyone anticipated. Usually it leaves around 8 or 9, but it had already left 6.30. So uh, we kind of anticipated this uh, might happen, that we wouldn't be able to go. Um, and to be fair, I don't think it's a big deal because they're still going very straight to Sibuyan from Batangas. And there's quite a bit to do in Sibuyan, it's quite big. And it even has a really tall mountain that we would love to ascend one time. And you cannot do that in the two nights we plan to stay there. So today we're just going to go to Robinson's Cove, which we uh, accidentally skipped yesterday. And uh, not much else today, to be honest, because uh, we are going to just relax. So come with me on the bike. Me, come with me. <laughs> I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Now I see why we uh, didn't see this uh, beach last time. It's because it's not marked at all. Uh, there's no sign or anything pointing in here. But eventually we found it, thanks to a little bit of uh, Google Maps. So here's at least Robinson's Cove. Uh, entrance fee for adults is uh, 50 pesos. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings. There's a quite noisy dog there. I believe it's friendly, you just need to approach him properly. Let's see what this guy is about. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah. Doesn't seem to mind uh, protecting the territory. Good girl, come here. Can you shut up? My girl is taking a reel. Let's see, maybe she wants a toy. Nope. I think that stick scared her. <laughs> Probably from experience. So back to the topic of uh, uh, Sibuyan. Technically, uh, we would have been able to go to Sibuyan today if we just resorted to a banka, a smaller banka owned by a fisherman or something. However, it cost 4,000 for that trip. And it's a really small banka as well, without any sunroof of any kind. It's probably going to take many hours. So I really think it's best that we just save those 4,000 and uh, pick Sibuyan another time, uh, to be honest. I mean, it's not like the island is going to disappear tomorrow or anything. So yeah, tomorrow then we will be going back to Tablas in the distance over there. How's the water? Yes. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke. Ooh. And I will try to fix what has been broken. And take this weight off my shoulder. We are basically the only people here, aside from the employee who is collecting the payment. So yeah, that's really just a typical site with uh, Romblon. Uh, you're almost the only person uh, wherever you go uh, who's uh, there for just vacation. Except for, of course, the locals. But, uh, but in most cases, to be honest, even they are really hard to be seen. So yeah, we basically have this all for ourselves now. Unsaid words be spoken, and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can.
So it does indeed look like quite a nice resort, but it kind of gives a spooky vibe because there's nobody here except for us and the employee. So <laughs> give you kind of the impression that, well, it's haunted and it's probably going to be a little bit scarier when you're just here alone. But uh, that's just me. <laughs> after you yeah oh. probably yeah, loves you know mind. can you just say the name again i forget it all the time. an entry fee here is basically the same as over there but here this is a longer sandbar or this is a much longer sand beach we are not the only ones here there are a few locals who is having a small party along the beach right there in the background Very casual marble bench with a marble table. <laughs> How's the water? Huh? How is it here? Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's so stick here that it's over with a snake. <laughs> Look at the beach here. Like, uh, with the palms and everything. And uh, these nice trees. And of course, the locals are having a bit of fun. It's quite nice. Although, you should be careful of uh, sticks that look like snakes. <laughs> definitely come across when you are on uh, along beaches on the Philippines it's not just dogs but a lot of chickens sometimes like look so two here one here one here yeah basically a farm that's what you get in province you have a good source of, source of protein both the eggs that they lay and the meat and of course they seem to enjoy the life they can just grass freely so I guess they will whatever they produce will taste fine now they have dessert Oh no! Oh, it's your friend. Hi. Hi. Hello. So these two places was uh, quite worth the trip, especially this one here. Uh, I would probably spend more time here because I'm more of a beach person, but it was still very nice over there at Robinson's Cove. So now let's go back again uh, and then maybe have a small snack at our quite uh, kind of cute cafe that we saw over there. beaches we were at have also a small uh, merienda snack looks very nice and uh, according to the owner they just opened uh, quite recently so this is this one's quite new as you can see very good uh, building quality what's wrong with you no he's just trying to scratch but he cannot reach oh okay oh. <laughs> you should, you should scratch no, no, he's like that. it's a girl actually no it's a boy <laughs> Watch me. Here's the food. This is vegetable lumpia. Yeah. Oh, it's very warm. Carefully. Very crispy. Very warm. Hmm. I'm done. What was this called again? Pan bagnat. Pan Pan bagnat. You think it's French or local? I have no idea. So this is the owner, uh, Eric from uh, France. And uh, he has a very nice uh, cafe, as uh, I would say. And um, 
There's one thing I've noticed in particular with the uh, Romblon is that compared to the amount of people who live here, there's quite a lot of uh, permanent foreign residents, or not really permanent, but a lot of men who have settled here with a local uh, wife. So uh, that's one thing that I found really uh, interesting about Romblon. So yeah, uh, very good food. Uh, bon? Yeah, very good. But we just opened recently. So yes, so please come to Kawaiian. Cafe Kawaiian. Kawaiian Cafe. Kawaiian Cafe. Ka Kawaiian cafe. Yeah. That's yeah. mean bamboo. Yes, I know Kawaiian means bamboo because of the interior. Okay, merci beaucoup. Merci. Bye bye. bye. Behind me here we have this uh, couple who runs this uh, hotel here, uh, Lono Circle. Uh, very nice people, thank you very much for staying here. Uh, totally def uh, recommend to check it out. And uh, they also made our stay here very good despite uh, the mishappening happening yesterday with the Sibuyan Ferry. So thank you very much, okay? Thank you. Recommend them totally. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care out, everybody. Thank you very much. So that marks the end of our trip here. Really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we're now going back to Tablas to have a little bit of relaxation. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. See you next time. Bye bye. We'll be back. For bye sure. bye, okay. Next time, more success for Sibuya. Yes. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye.